So let's explore making a cylindrical shape in two-point perspective. Uh, I'm going to do this demonstration without the straight edge, and so we're going to get kind of a more fluid drawing. So let's go ahead and lay down our vanishing points. Put one over here and one over here. And then we'll draw a uh, horizon line in between them. OK. And then uh, to draw some of these lines without the straight edge, I'm actually going to rotate the paper into an orientation that's comfortable for me to uh, draw, lay some lines down. So let's go ahead and put a vertical edge over here. And then we want uh, some of these edges. Let's go ahead and make that a little more vertical. And so what we're going to do is draw the edges uh, back to the vanishing points. So remember, the vertical lines are straight up and down, but the edges converge to the vanishing points. So let's go ahead and lay down uh, something like a rectangular prism. Okay, and we'll get these other vertical edges in. So I want this edge to be square. And then this one can be a little bit elongated. Okay, and then we'll get this edge in here. And one more edge over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw uh, these pan transparent edges too. So there's the back edge. And we'll get these other back edges in. And one more back edge over here. OK, so we've got this rectangular prism shape. And what we're going to do is draw a uh, what would be a circular shape on the front of this square face. But in perspective, a circular shape uh, on the edge of a square becomes an ellipse. So uh, let's quickly go over the structure of an ellipse. So if you have an ellipse, the, line be the shortest line across the ellipse is going to be the minor axis. And the longest line across the ellipse is the major axis. Now, when you're drawing an ellipse that represents a circular face on a square in perspective, the minor axis gets lined up with the center of the square. So to find the, where the center is, we're just going to drop some diagonals in. So there's our diagonals. And where they meet is the center of the square. So we're just going to draw a straight line through that. And so this line is going to be where our minor axis of the ellipse ends up. So I'm going to start by just getting the shape down in the air. And I want my ellipse to touch some of these edges and have the minor axis along that uh, center line there. So we're going to go ahead and lay that down. OK, not too bad. So there's our ellipse. And then the same thing uh, is true for the back edge. So we can line up and drop some diagonals in. Where they meet uh, is along the center. So that's where we want our minor axis to be. And we'll go ahead and draw that ellipse in. OK, so now to get the cylindrical shape, I just want to connect those edges where the face of the ellipse no longer uh, will be visible. And then there you have it, a, uh, ellipse, a, cil a cylinder in two-point perspective. We can also go ahead and uh, darken that shape in. We'll darken the outer edge so it's a little easier to see. The cylinder in two-point perspective.